Hey guys, welcome back once again to day three of our 2020 online VBS called Courageous. You know you've been having a great time. Doesn't matter whether we're meeting in person or we're meeting virtually, it is the best. VBS is the highlight of every single summer, at least for me. We have another fun-filled night planned, so stay tuned. To kick it off, like we always do, we gotta say hi to some of our crew leaders. Say hi, guys. Hey, yo, hey, yo, guys, it's your buddy John. Just wanna say welcome to VBS. Hi, guys, welcome to VBS. My name is Rachel. You will have a blast this week. Hey, guys, it's Miss Barbara here. So glad you're here for VBS. You're gonna have a blast. Christina Kay here, and I am super excited to have an amazing and fun week with you guys. Hey boys and girls, my name is Diane. I'm looking forward to a great week at VBS. I know you're gonna have a super time. Hey guys, it's Miss Nara here. Welcome to VBS. Hey everybody, Debbie here. I'm so excited for an amazing week of VBS. Are you ready to be blessed? Hi guys, this is Lisa. Come and have some fun with us today at VBS. Hi, Doc Stan here. Looking forward to another wonderful VBS with all you guys. Have fun. Hi everybody, it's Eva and Sal, and we're here to welcome you to VBS. Hope you have a blast. Hi everyone, it's Evelyn Capitzer. And Leona. I want to let you know that VBS may look a little different this year, but you're still going to have a lot of fun. Now that that's done, let's take it to what's planned for tonight. As you know, this whole week we'll be talking about a guy named Daniel and how through God he was courageous. Tonight, we're going to look at the third part of this story, Furnace of Fire. This is a story of a giant golden statue, a blazing hot fiery furnace, and a God who saves. As we explore today's Bible lesson, we'll discover that God wants us to worship only Him. But before we get to that, let's get moving. So everyone, get on up out of those seats and let's worship. Get up, let's get it started Time to move around, let's have a party Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Now stop and clap it out Now stop and stomp it out Now stop and bounce it out Now stop and shout it out Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Get up, jump up, turn up and dance Gonna praise you, Jesus, with all that I am Come on, get up, let's get it started Time to move around, let's have a party Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Move to the left, move to the right Feel the beat and hang on tight Now stop and clap it out Now stop and stomp it out Now stop and bounce it out Now stop and shout it out Here. Beats for you will be 
awesome, guys. You can sit back down, okay? So, like we said before, today we're learning about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and the fiery furnace. This is one of my favorite stories because they weren't just facing people being angry at them for their faith. They were facing being thrown into a huge oven full of fire. Let's check it out now. Sometime after Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego began to serve in the court of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the king had a golden statue of himself made. The massive 90-foot tall statue stood as a monument to Nebuchadnezzar's power and greatness. The king ordered all the leaders of Babylon to come together for the dedication of the enormous idol. On the day of the dedication ceremony, all the leaders of Babylon gathered by the golden statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. A herald announced to the crowd that they were to bow down and worship the statue when the music began. Anyone who did not do as commanded would be thrown into a furnace of fire. So when the sound of music from the trumpets, harps, flutes, bagpipes, and all sorts of instruments was heard, everyone bowed down before the statue. Everyone, that is except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. A group of the king's advisors noticed that these three young Jewish men did not bow down and worship the statue. Jealous of the power the king had bestowed on these exiles from Jerusalem, the advisors went to the king to tell him of the men's disobedience. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard that they refused to bow to the statue, he became furious. In a rage, he had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego brought to him to answer for their disobedience. He told them that if they continued to refuse to bow down and worship the statue, he would have them thrown into the furnace of fire. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego held to their faith. They told the king, The God we serve will deliver us from the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar had heard enough. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than normal. His soldiers tied up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and led them to the furnace. As the doors of the furnace were opened, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in, the heat and flames overpowered the soldiers and they died on the spot. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and to his amazement, he saw that the three young men were unharmed. Then the king noticed something even more amazing. In disbelief, he asked his advisors to confirm that there were supposed to be only three people in the fire. After his advisors agreed with him, the king said, I see four men walking unhurt and unbound in the fire and one of them looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the fire. He was so in awe of what he had seen, he praised the God of the three young men and declared that anyone who spoke against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be killed. The king said, there is no other god who is able to rescue in this way. Then the king promoted the three young men to high positions in his kingdom. Oh, Hananiah, it's nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. That's yep. all I have to say. It was, are my eyebrows singed? No, I, was, I wasn't singed. that close, but it was hot. Listen, we're alive, we're alive. And tell your wife to stop making these. These are flammable. Yeah, I know. She, you were too close to that learned, furnace. She went to La Roma and got the, uh, uh, yeah, but I don't, yeah, I know, I know. But man, I, between me and you, yeah. I feel a little ashamed. You know, I, I feel ashamed too, but what were we gonna do? Nebuchadnezzar would have killed us if we didn't bow to his God. Yeah, everybody did, but. I know, but. Hananiah, yes. Michelle, and Azariah, yes. a.k.a. Them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they didn't bow. Nope. They stood and, nope. they, and had the guts to look at the king and say, nope. King, 
We serve a God that even if you do throw us in the fire, I mean, I'm listening to this. Not I going, heard it just, too. I just was bow, there. Just bow. Please just bow. We don't care because he will save us. And even if he does, we won't bow. I lost it. I Me just, too. I was down there falling like a baby. I just put my head in the ground. I but was so I couldn't get up. I'm sorry. I couldn't get up. But, I, you know, I took a, a little peek. And, you know, in the furnace. Did you see it too? Yes. I thought I was losing my mind. I thought I was hallucinating. I thought the heat, but no. Not three. I saw four, four. people in the furnace. Even the king saw four. And you know four. what? We should be ashamed, because you know who that was in that furnace, right? Our God. Our mighty God. Wisdom. Our powerful God. We're you such mean fools. A God who can protect us. Yep. Provide for us. Yes. Keep us safe. Yes. And we're down on the ground. I'm gonna go home. Right. I'm upset. I know. But our God is good. He's good. See you later, Rach. Well, I do feel a little ashamed. I wonder what our leaders think. I learned it's most important to worship God and nothing else. I learned even in situations that might not end the best way for me, I must always do what is right, even if people around me don't think so. Right. I learned that I could have faith in God to protect me from everything just like he did for the guys with the weird names. Those are some awesome points. If you guys agree, I want you to get up and make the biggest muscles you can and shout courageous. Let me see those muscles. Nice. All right, you can sit back down. So every night we're going to get two things to memorize. One is our big idea and the other is our memory verse. Let's hear our big idea and memory verse right now. It's by faith we trust God, no matter how difficult life may get. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand, O King. Daniel 3.17. Now we need to do something fun to help us remember tonight. So everyone, pull out those t-shirts from last night and get those fabric markers. Remember, each night we're going to draw something new on our shirts to remember what we learned. So tonight in the bottom right section, we're going to draw something about today's lesson. Maybe a picture of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or a picture of the fiery furnace, or even a picture of how you felt when you heard the story. Whatever will remind you of tonight's lesson, and you're gonna draw it in the bottom right part of the front of the shirt. Make sure you only draw on the bottom right part because you need to leave room for all the other awesome lessons we'll be learning the other days. So pause the video now and take a few minutes to do that. And when you're done, hit play. Okay, all done? Those shirts are looking awesome. Now it's time for our Bible quiz. So here's what you gotta do. Tell whoever you're with that has a Facebook to follow Axis Kids. We're gonna make a post to see who gets the most right each night and we'll see who can get the most right. Let's check it out.
that was another fun-filled night and I learned so much again. I want to hear what you guys learned. So shout out a few things. One or two things that you learned tonight that was your favorite thing. Shout them out. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Those sound pretty interesting. You guys are definitely paying attention. But as always, we need to review today's big idea. If you don't remember it, let's hear one more time. It's by faith, we trust God no matter how how difficult life may get. And our memory verse is, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand, O King. Daniel 3, 17. Wow, those are awesome. So remember, have someone videotape you memorizing both of those and if you send it to us at Axis Kids Facebook page, we just may make a special post about you. All right guys, that's all the time we have left. Hope you had fun. See you tomorrow at seven.